Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. Gang, let's be real. You know, if we are real UFO researchers, we have to be incredibly discriminating. We can't just instantly fall back to it, it's ET, it's a UFO, it's an alien. Um, and I think far, far more UFOs are satellites and black military projects than we suspect. And many incredible sightings even are most likely one of those things. There's also some very rare natural plasma phenomena. We know that there's such thing as earthquake lights. So we know for certain that geomagnetic activity, seismic activity can cause um, massive ion uh, release from energy created under the surface. Sometimes they say it's from quartz crystals, but there's a lot of different things going on. It's very dynamic, so it's important to be very honest with ourselves. I've been at numerous uh, different CE5 events where people will take the flashing of a satellite solar panel as a definite sign of ET. And I think we're not doing ourselves justice. I think we have to um, keep it real. But also, especially if you live in the uh, Midwest or the Southwest, you have to really understand that Stealth technology, you know how badass the stealth fighter and stealth bomber look? They're so futuristic and badass. You look at them head on and they just look like a spaceship. Those were made in the 80s. <laughs> the late 80s, they were designed. 90s, they were made. This is... What, 40 years ago? Now, we know that there's a lot of speculation about uh, electrogravitics... Um, we know that the Earth is a giant magnet. So if you can make yourself perhaps neutral to that magnet, would that have any effects? You know, there's all sorts of different levels of anti-gravity and, and all these different things. And you can be sure that technology is so mind-boggling right now that we are creating it's my understanding that there are two different types of anti-gravity. Three of them are known. One we cannot create. One we can create the electrogravitic version. And there's another version that we know about. We're kind of on the edge of creating. It's the, uh, you know, material, creating material that resonates at the right frequency. Um, it's a lattice structure. You have to build it from the atom up. And... Um, in fact, I know a company that's created an incredible machine to build nanomaterial, atom by atom, but at a much more efficient rate than uh, any other company, I'm certain. But let's think about this for a second, guys. If we're really discriminating, we become better researchers. And when we find a case that's really, really, really great, great, we know it's special. We know those are the cases to invest our time in. And it's really important nowadays, too, because there's so much of society that doesn't believe this yet. Despite the government releasing videos, they don't even know the government's released the videos. So it's really important to think about this. And just be discriminating. Now, I was thinking about our universe and how it's filled with life. I think we can safely presume that. But it's suspiciously filled with life. Aside from all the universe being fine-tuned and everything, I was thinking about this. You know, if you wanted to raise a bunch of animals or beings or something, what you would need to do is give them plenty of space. You'd need to put power sources. They need some sort of energy to survive and grow. Even baby chickens, you need a heat lamp. And they actually absorb that heat. And it's actually energy for them as well keeping them warm. So if you wanted to create life, 
you would put an energy source like the sun in the center and you would have habitats, these things that you want to live wherever they are, whatever they are, would need habitats. So we have planets and the universe is just built just with that, which just seems incredibly suspiciously perfect for raising life. Um, so, uh, that's it. What do you guys think about both of those ideas? Should we be more discriminating UFO researchers? And do you think the universe is suspiciously created for life? Much love.